Hello everyone, welcome to a rather short Star Wars Old Republic video. Uh, this one's going to be a lot more laid back, no tip or anything for you this time. It's just going to be me customizing one of my characters. Now, I've announced in my previous videos that I'm going to be doing some awesome giveaways. And um, I'm going to be probably interacting with my subscribers like I've never really done before. I'm making a guild, um, I'm going to be inviting all the people that want to join that guild and they're going to have a chance to you know, talk with me, we're going to play together, and I'm going to be doing these awesome giveaways. And I decided that I need to have one character that I basically standardize as the character you guys can you know talk to me and interact uh, with me and uh, it's not going to be my main Sith Juggernaut because to be quite frank I like the guild I'm in I really like their uh, their Tatooine stronghold and um, and a lot of people already know this character and I get tons of whispers I maybe want to I, I was thinking maybe I'd use another character and I do have a Sith Assassin and this Sith Assassin is called Sortar TV and so I kind of was deciding that this was going to be the character, this is going to be the new guild master of the guild, this is going to be the character that everyone can maybe recognize in game, talk to and whisper, and we can play together and stuff like that. Um, and because he's called Soltar TV, then it's very easy to recognize him. And I also needed just one theme kind of to customize this character with. And so I decided I was going to do is a cool themed character. And I, it was just going to basically deck him out as he's a cool knight. And as you guys can see, I went ahead and bought Senia's lightsaber pike for 69 million credits. I was really waiting for that to drop, honestly. I thought at least with the oppressor packs coming out, there's going to be uh, more items available on the GTN. It would drop at least below 50 million. And I did go ahead and buy this quite a while ago. And I just paid the 69 million for it because I had the money. But, um, but even now, I've been checking the GTN to maybe see if it drops and the lowest I've seen is it drop is like 59 58 million it still hasn't dropped below 50 million that is insane even though it's platinum I get it like even the defined vented saber dropped lower than that so I can't believe that a dual saber I mean the only people that can use this are assassins and shadows those are two out of the eight classes yet it's still selling for above 50 million credits and so I went ahead and paid the hefty price and now as you guys can see I've got the whole Zakul Knight armor set and I also decided to throw in a white die I'm gonna uh, make it look like the Zakul Knight from the cinematic trailers that were fighting alongside Senia I just thought that the regular yellow metallic color was uh, too basic to be quite frank it didn't stick out enough and I kind of wanted to make this character stick out make him look really cool so I decided to go ahead and throw in another platinum item into the mix a platinum die so this is a very easy way to blow out a lot of credits and um, I think I put up a tweet a, f a few days ago called I blew through 500 million credits in, in one week and this was one of the reasons why uh, just went crazy with this one. So I'll jump ahead. And All right and this is how my Sith Assassin looks just right now. Uh, I thought it looked pretty nice when I when I created this outfit but now when I'm looking back on it I don't think it's that nice and that's partly why I decided that I was going to change it and make it uh, basically make another outfit that's a lot more expensive and looks a lot nicer and so I'm going to go ahead and quickly throw these things into the outfit designer and there we go that's how my Zakul Knight looks in all its glory with the white dye. Uh, to be quite frank I remember um, when I made this I was a little bit surprised at how dirty it looked. Uh, it looks really rustic and dirty with all the black kind of things. Makes it look like he was r running in the dirt or something. But uh, I thought it was going to be pure white or whatever, but I don't really care. It still looks super nice. Okay, I'm going to run over to the mods vendor so I can put some mods into this weapon. This is one of the reasons I really like this new system where they removed all the commendations because beforehand you couldn't transfer basic or what they call the basic comment or common data crystals from one character to another and all these mods used to cause common data crystals so for example if, if this was a brand new character where I've never done heroics or anything on him then I wouldn't have the common data crystals to buy these mods but now they only cost 2500 uh, credits so it's very easy you can just get these mods throw them into a weapon. Uh, Gear doesn't really matter at this point, especially if you're not level 70 because everything gets bolstered. So it doesn't even matter. You just need to have some sort of mods in there. And I've screwed up here. I've, I've bought a uh, barrel instead of a hilt, so I've got to change that. All right, and there we have it. The mods are in. I'm actually really excited to see what this lightsaber pike looks like, but there's just one little thing I've got to do. I'm going to go ahead and change the color crystal. Now, I'm, I've got nothing wrong with the blue color crystal. That's from the cinematic trailers as well. looks very cool, but I'm actually going to go ahead and make this uh, even more expensive and use my white-black eviscerating crystal, which I got from the Dark vs. Light pack, so I didn't really pay for it or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and put that crystal in there, and I'm really excited to see how this looks, so let's see now. And there we go. That's my character with the lightsaber pike gonna go ahead and unlock the vehicle as well uh, this is a cool overseer dais so once again keeping in with that's a cool theme and really uh really tying it all together one other quick thing is um weapon tuning now i was going to actually make this even more expensive by getting a weapon tuning maybe a lightning one or something but i decided against it because as an assassin you basically have a permanent lightning tuning which is half of your abilities activate some sort of lightning thing on your weapon and makes it an even better version of lightning tuning i'll show you a quick example here uh with this one ability 
but look how nice that looks with the white crystal. I'm honestly really loving this design. And um, I'm going to have a lot of fun, uh, you know, using this character just for the aesthetic pleasure. I'm not probably not going to PvP with him or anything, but, um, but just aesthetically, it's going to look really cool. There's the permanent lightning tuning. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this really short kind of laid back video and um, I'm lo really looking forward to kind of interacting with you guys and um, now you guys know one of my characters so feel free to shoot me a whisper. Uh, once again, you see a Sotar TV running around in, in a full white dyed the cool knight armor set that's going to be me and uh the other quick thing is the guild's going pretty well i've already bought a guild uh decorating it with the help of one of my subscribers and um i'm kind of organizing my cargo base around to see what giveaways i want to do but that's happening very very soon and so i'm really looking forward to doing that so hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one